corneum. It says identify the lab labeled layer. So this is stratum corneum. This B is, so this would be uh, stratum granulosum. This would be spinosum. This is basal. This is the basement membrane. This is probably the lucidum right here, because it's staining differently. And this is the papillary layer. And the tissue type, because you've got to read the tissue type, is areolar connective tissue. Okay, so these questions asked for layer, but this one asked for tissue type. So, um, what did you say the B is? B is stratum granulosum. I'd say from here, this is all granulosum, this is spinosum. I should have moved it up closer to here, I was rushing, but. So the C would be basal, at the bottom right down at the bottom there? Stratum basal. Basal. Yep. Wow. Good. Okay. All right, station C. All right, uh, identify the type of tissue. This is reticular tissue. Identify the type of fiber. These are reticular fibers. Uh, what happened at E? All right, whatever. So uh, C is identify the type, the C, identify the type of fiber labeled. Elastic fibers. D, oh, I see what E is. D says identify the type of tissue. So this is what? Elastic. Elastic connective tissue. Don't start saying cartilage after every elastic. Elastic connective tissue. And then E says name an organ or structure where you would find this tissue. What are you going to say? Something. Blood vessel. Right, exactly. Blood vessel. That's a good place. Aorta. All right. So, identify the labeled structure. A is uh, either a tactile corpuscle or a Meisner's corpuscle. Okay, it's, it's, uh, you've got two types of receptors here. B is sebaceous gland. C is a sweat gland. And D is uh, either um, a press, a lamellated corpuscle or a Pacinian corpuscle, but it's deep pressure, all right, because it's much farther down. It's not going to take much to, 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 you know, get this one to signal, but you have to put more pressure to get this one to signal. And then E says, figure out how big this button is. All right. If this is five millimeters, all right, which is about what you should have seen under your microscope, but it can be ten. You gotta re, you gotta look. This is five. Then, if this is five, this is going to be two, and this is point five. If this was ten, what would this be? Five. Good, and that would be. No, this would not be five. Oh yeah, it would be. That is ten. No, this would be four. Four. Yes. So at 40x, if you could see 10, then this would be, if this is 10, this would be 1. Yeah. That's a closer view. Yes. All right. And it's 10 times the magnification, and you can see 1 tenth of the size. So this button, how, how big do you think this button is? 1. You can do it this way. You can do 1, 2. 3.25, so you could say it's uh, out of 5, you can get 3.25 out of it, so then you'd have to divide 5 by 3.25. Yep. It would give you 0.75. Yeah, uh, 0.175, uh, 3.25, yeah. 1.75, is that what you said? Yeah, something like that. No, 0.75. No, I'll tell you why it's not. Because it's it's... Oh, did you say 0.75? Um, Can you do that again? Professor? Sure, Five hold on a more? second. Okay. This is 5, and this is 0.5, and this is 2. I'm double checking my math. Yeah, how you measured it. You put because it look, right? this is 2, and this is taking up, you know, more than one and a half. So that was my double check. But how did I do it? You go, all right, how many times can this go across? This, 
is five. Okay. So if I go like this. One, two, three. I don't know, three point one, three point, whatever. You're gonna guess. Mm -hmm. The trouble is, if you guess, if you use that method like that, it, you're gonna be a little farther off. I think you should use this. All right, in this case, I'd say it was one and a quarter. Now, this, these two numbers will not be on your practical. You're gonna to have to understand the relationship between these and this. This is the only thing you're gonna be given. So the relationship between 40X and 400X is that this is going to be one-tenth the diameter, it, right? Because four, 400, is 10 times 40. Mm -hmm. So if this is five, this is 0. 0.5. And 100 is five, is one fourth of this. So one fourth of 0. 0.5 is two. Or you could do the M1 D1 uh -huh. equals M2 D2. I think that's more. <laughs> Hey, it's one point on your practical exam. You can, you can embrace it. All right, it's in your lab manual. It's one point. It's gonna be one station. One point. So every station is one point. For naming orders. There's a hundred questions. Did you see this? The, the